this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of new educational opportunities for our students. After a year of hard work, the Guam Community College is celebrating the opening of its new two-story learning resource center. A ribbon-cutting ceremony was held outside the 22,000 square foot LEED certified facility with Governor Felix Camacho, Interior Assistant Secretary Tony Babalta, Senators, students and other stakeholders present. The cost of the project was around $5.2 million, all funded through several grants. GCC President Dr. Mary Okada says the facility has very modern features. It has digital controls and a, a building management system will, which will actually monitor the temperatures in the building so that in times where, you know, of course the temperature needs to be increased or decreased and the system will tell us that. But that's not all. The facility also contains solar photovoltaic systems and LED lighting to save on electricity costs, among other things. GCC's new LRC building is infused with green technology. With furniture made out of recyclable materials, to Energy Star rated computers, these are just some of the things that make people want to go to school again here at GCC. The LRC is the second new building to open on the campus in less than a year, and you can bet that GCC is planning to have more facilities completed in 2011. The next project uh, that has already started is the Student Center, and so we're hoping right around Christmas time next year that that Student Center will be complete, in addition to the complete renovation of our previous library. Overall, Dr. Okada says she is encouraged the Learning Resource Center and GCC's expanding campus will inspire students and others to invest in their educational goals. Hopefully a lot of people are encouraged, like yourself, to come back to school, come back to higher education, come back to get the additional degrees, come back to get certification, come back and let's help build Guam, make Guam a, a place, build our workforce to support our economy and our island. Josh Tikenko, PNC News.